Hi. What's up? Hey, I'm just fine. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm in my office. I really like your life. Where are you from? I can't hear you. Oh, sorry. I've never done this live stuff before, so I'm just... Okay. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from the United States. Oh, nice. This is India. Oh, nice. That's yep. Cool. Oh, what part? Don't I look Indian? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this stuff oh, that you're uh, wearing. I bought this today at the mall. It's a moon. Oh. Nice, nice. What is that? What is that written? Uh, oh, uh, it says Skoden. It's um, it's like a native meme. Oh, nice, nice stuff. Got it. So, are you happy about Joe Biden winning? <laughs> mm. I'm, uh, let me tell you, I'm not happy with either of the outcomes. I'm not happy with yeah. Trump or Biden. Uh, Why you, th you think it won't be good, better than the last five years? That's what everyone thinks, but I think either way, for indigenous people in the United States, yeah. the same. Like, the treaties are the underneath Biden and Obama, you know, we had uh, ICE deportations and families being separated. You had uh, the Dakota Access Pipeline, you know, and Obama said he was going to, you know, protect the, that land yeah. and all the treaties, and he didn't. And, you know, Biden was the vice president. Um, so when I think about it in a, in a perspective, I'm like, you know, it's either way, it's not going to be good for us. But as I, I understand what people say when, well, it's the lesser evil. I just yeah. don't want anymore and so personally i didn't vote for biden and i didn't vote for trump either um but you never I, voted for either what's that you never voted for either either times i never wanted either of them to win but you know it's it's out of my hands you look at the last election donald trump lost the popular vote you know more people voted yeah. for hillary and it still didn't matter he became the president anyway so yeah. that's a, even if we the guys lost hope it's not going to put who they want in because Hillary Clinton should not have been in that seat it should have been Bernie Sanders that's who the people had voted for but the Democratic Convention didn't want that to happen and so they manipulated it to make her take the spot which was not was Trump and it was a person who was to beat Trump and you know so it's like were saying less to evil why don't you why don't you do something about it then you know i mean i'm glad that stuff is being done now and i think that bernie sanders really did help mobilize people and wake people up even with his loss um yeah. especially what happened sooner that this uh biden win doesn't make people complacent and i feel like it will you know and it's a shame it's, it's kind of why i do what i do on instagram you know i'm not going to keep speaking out because someone has to do that um and no one's gonna like yeah. believe what I say, but you no, know, it's like shit. no one believes in everything that says. Well, you shouldn't, at least I don't. So I just want to be another uh, a resource for people to be able to to find resources because I don't know shit. Like I don't study politics, you know. Like the American education is shitty, and yeah. I don't have a good one. But what I do have, I'm holding on to and trying to spread it to other people. And so when when I see people like about. I'm not going to tell people not to vote. I'm not going to tell shame people for who they're voting for. But I'm not also going to me for not choosing to vote or not choosing to vote for a certain party. And that's how I feel about it. Um, and that's how I wish more Americans would feel about this because that's actual democracy. Because this bipartisan yeah. system is really not a democracy because you're you're forcing us to choose two different things and. That's not real freedom. You don't want to choose either. Like many don't want to choose either. Okay, that's, that's heavy pointed. Yeah. And, and it sucks. 
I know that the United States, outside of the continent, has a reputation yeah. for this, this you know, Hollywood charade that's going on in our politics. But I think it also boils down to, well, look at how far how this colonialism, how far can it take us, you know, before it starts to, like, tip over and it's not sustainable for ourselves anymore. Because the people, especially with the internet, I think has like really mobilized people in a way to to themselves and to yeah. uh, information in a way that wasn't there before. And I think that's what's really like radicalizing people in a way that before the internet, you know, you can have it. And yeah. I think the internet existed like you know back in in like well it existed back then, but like in the revolutionary times in like the sixties and seventies, like if it was like it is today, I, like. There would be people just like what I'm doing now, you know. They would be online <laughs> spreading the word just as much as they would be out there in the streets. And that's good. That's good. I hope more people do that. The thing that you're doing. I I think I think it's better that people their own voice, even if their voice is not always correct. I like I think my voice is always correct, but I'm gonna own it and I'm gonna speak on it, and that's that's gonna be coming from my my perspective and my point of view. So if it's wrong, I'm gonna figure that out, you know. But yeah. I'm gonna spit out some manufactured or some regurgitated uh, information that someone else told me, and act like it's my truth or how I see it when that's just how I was told. And I wish more people, especially Americans, would do that. Um, but we live in a consumerism culture where you know everything is just flashed in front of us in the screen, and you know we don't really think about the deeper meaning of everything because it's all plastic now and. Yeah. Nobody has that absolute truth. Yeah. I wish I wish more people would tap into that, like, and not live like. I don't want to come off as like elitist, but just like a shallow lives. Like they, they, they're very surface level on what they will take in and appreciate or accept. And don't you know they? They accept what they're given and they don't reach out for anything else they don't question it they're just like yeah this is it and i feel like more people should be open to questioning things like you know as a kid i grew up in a really catholic family but i always questioned religion and, God. and it wasn't in a like a defiant way it was just more out of curiosity because i was also learning about science and the stars i really love astronomy and i would ask you know adults and they would answer me like if i was an adult and they would say the stars are just suns that are millions of, of miles and light years away. And the light is, is so fast, but it's so far that it takes millions of years to get here. And so many of the stars that you're seeing could have been dead, you know, millions of years before you were yeah. born. That blew my mind. And then he told me about the Big Bang. And growing up, knowing about, you know, what the Bible says in the Catholic Church about how God created the world and the universe. And it obviously conflicted. And with both science and religion i always question i was like well okay if the big bang is true what happened before the big bang and how can something come out of nothing and it's the same thing with god like if god is real how could he come out of some out of nothing and who created him if he created us and these are questions that like as a kid in a catholic church that was blasphemy so i was like not allowed to question that i was questioning god you can't do that and so i was i was like okay and then, of course, growing up queer, I, I have to hide myself. So I was like, okay, so this religion is not for me. And maybe it's not just, the, maybe it's not the religion, maybe it's the church. But I decided to move away from that. And then with science, too, I'm questioning, well, how do we know what yeah. something was before we even know what it was? Like, we're still trying to figure this stuff out. Like, we don't even know what the like, ocean floor looks like. Did you find the answer to it? The answer to what? find the answer to it, like, later in life, over the years? Um, are you talking about, like, the answer of, like, what's beyond or before? Yeah. Um, for me, I still don't know. And I think coming to terms with not knowing is kind of, like, my religion. Because instead of me trying yeah. to fit myself in a box or, or feeling, like, like, anxious yeah. or, like, I need to be on some spiritual ritualistic yeah. stuff to be in tune with myself. I'm just like, no, I, yeah. the best way I could become spiritual is by, by really becoming in tune with myself and figuring out what is this? What am I? Why am I feeling this? Where is it coming from? And I think that's ultimately 
good enough for me for now. Like, and I, I still believe that there is something greater. I believe that there's a, a, an energy or a creator or something that embodies whatever exists here. And maybe it's not a physical thing. Maybe it's not even, um, I don't know. Maybe it's not even an idea. Maybe it's just, it's just the way it works. You know, like it's like a formula. Like you can get, you can, you know, you can do the, the pie, you know, like you can find the square root of whatever because it's a formula. It doesn't exist physically, but it's, it's there. And I feel like maybe that's what a lot of this stuff is. Yeah. So I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so I have to go. Okay. Catch up later someday. Okay. Bye. Well, it was really nice talking to you. That was awesome. <laughs> Okay, well, that was a pretty cool conversation. Um, I didn't expect that to happen, but I can keep singing, or you know, we can have more metaphysical, spiritual conversations and shit. But I do have to play some more Sam Smith because it was going when we were having a conversation. You can't, you can't disrespect him like that.